Okay, hello, Shafiq here. It's uh, Saturday night and as you can see, I'm in the gym. I'm in the gym because I, like many other people, have just had enough of, sorry, everything that's going on in the world and how we don't seem to have a say. Now, I'm not gonna get involved in the um, he says, she says, or the politics or whatever it is because we all know uh, we can fall out and um, it causes causes problems amongst families. I, I'm only too aware of that. But what I am going to say is about our mental health and about everybody's mental health at this time. And one of the um, adages I use on my um, men only group, there's no shame, is that a successful man or woman is able to build the foundation on the bricks that are thrown at him. And I think that's really apt. A successful individual is able to build the foundations on the bricks that are thrown, thrown at him in order to overcome. Now we are undoubtedly having a very trying time and this news now is just uh, going to play with a lot of people's emotions, a lot of people's energy, a lot of people's thought processes. But stay strong, not in a physical sense, nothing like this, but just stay strong in your mind. We've got through this for the last 10 months, the last year, and we're going to get through this. And for us to all fall apart now and, and see the fractures happening in, in our lives and our families' lives and our extended families and uh, friends and all the rest of it is simply the worst thing that could happen, even worse than what's going on now. Okay? You are able to build a life and build resolve out of the most trying times. Life is stressful at times, but it's the stress that sometimes builds those roadblocks. And it's not nonsense, it's not nonsensical what I say. Um, I, know, I know for a fact, I know clients for a fact who have gone through so much, but it also almost made you value what was important. And if all those guys that worrying about their kids, guys and girls about custody, all those guys that worrying about seeing their families, their elderly parents and all the rest of it, one thing we have learned out of this and don't lose sight of it. One thing we have learned out of this is how much we value our interaction with our friends and family, how much we value our freedom, how much we value the fresh air, and how much we value our opinion to say what we want to say in the freedom upon which we can say it and with the freedom to do what we want to do. And it does seem like that's been taken away from us, rightly or wrongly. Like I say, I'm not going to get involved in it. But just remember, we've learned what those values are. And I had to take myself out. The kids have been baking all day gingerbread men, which has been lovely, and you hear the news at four o'clock, and it's all across the news. And it's, it's going to be a tough few days. It's going to be a tough week. It's going to be a tough few months, undoubtedly. It really is. But please don't give up. Please don't give up on your, on your life and your ambitions on the way you think. Don't give up. A lot of people out there are struggling and are giving up, but please don't give up because I know from my own personal experience I've done that twice and the best thing I ever did was to come out of it and learn that there's a whole better world, better life, better environment in which to live our lives, okay? So I'm just chilling out here in the gym, switching off, listening to motivational stuff. Kids are watching TV and I value that. And we're gonna make the best possible Christmas possible. I had to put this out here tonight because there's a lot of stuff going on social media and this is not me sitting on one party, the other party, people who know me might know where I sit, but crucially I'm concerned about people's mental health and their well-being at this trying time. So you've got to believe to succeed, there's no shame, have a great evening, I'll catch up with you soon, cheers, lots of love, bye.